That is very, very interesting. And talk about the statistics. I want to bring on uh, Adamu uh, Ben Karim to bring us, you know, the uh, other facts and other figures. And um, then we'll take a look at what else we should look at beyond these top five rated teams who are you also pay attention part of the to, history. Pay attention to Karim's Gates to the NC <laughs> in the walking house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, man? Yeah, doing great, man. Very well, very well. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Yeah, yeah, sure. Stood, mm. welcome. I don't know what you, you told me something before. <laughs> I, 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 be careful. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, okay. Uh, there's the phrase that God works in mysterious ways. Mm. Uh, yes. That's what brought you here. <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy? That is what has brought... Nigeria, yes, that's far. I don't yeah. know what he's saying, but I'm, I'm, continue. I'm, <laughs> are you afraid? I'm not scared. Let's continue. <laughs> Do you know that you are getting a lot of slack on social media for me? what you said about South Africa? South Africa, yes. Do you let me tell you something? You, wait, I, <laughs> okay, okay. If you if you want to go into the message carrier, okay, so it's the message carrier, so I cannot attack him. No, you cannot. Okay, <laughs> can you remember exactly what you said? So I told South Africa, first of all, in one sentence, I'm, I, I cannot do it in one sentence, bro. That's cannot, then I'll just do that for you. Listen, no, 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 I'll do I that need, for you. I need to explain this. No, I need, no, 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 I need to explain don't, this. You've already I, upset me. I told, don't explain. I told, I, I wanted, I wanted <laughs> to explain. Where are you wait, going? I want, no wait, wait, I wanted South Africa to remove Morocco at first. Uh -huh. Then South Africans came to my page and we and we and we and we and were talking a lot of things. So I made a video and said, I want Morocco to remove South Africa. That video has over half a million views right yes, now. But it is seven percent from South Africa. I'm trending in the country. <laughs> it's crazy right now. All men, women, old people. I can't go there you right now. There. It is on fire. <laughs> the whole thing is there. So but that's not anyway. even the reference. When we were previewing who are the Famous came for win it. Yes. Oh my God. Who are the famous to win it? At, at that point? <laughs> you said that South Africa were going to Cote d'Ivoire for excursion. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, bro. <laughs> yeah, I remember. But when you said that, they didn't give up. Did they? You're crashing up, bro. Uh, one no, way... did they give up? Yes, no. I, I'm not asking that question. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what the point I'm just trying to make is that. Yeah. Even in people counting them out and all sort of things, still they believed in what they can do. Congratulations to South Africa. And worked hard for it. Mm. So that's why we need this saying from the 26th president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. Mm. He says that, yes, believe you can. You are halfway there. They believed and the hard work took them through. Everyone was saying that Morocco were the favorites to win a pre-tournament, but they came up, no one counted, uh, counted them in. And they did it. So what you are having to do today is to review the round of 16 and um, compare it to what we've seen in the last two editions, especially considering that this is only the third time that we are seeing um, the round of 16 at the AFCON. So at this tournament, we've seen 16 goals in the round of 16. That means that we are averaging two goals per game. And also in terms of penalty goals, we've seen four goals at this tournament. And in terms of own goals, just one. Then let's compare it to the last three editions that we've also played the round of 16. So um, let me ask this brief question. With VR, are we seeing more goals or less goals? Well, that would have to subject to a lot of, uh, you know, scientific research because the um, question is, are you looking at it from the point of view of the Africa Cup of Nations? Yes, the from World the Cup? Africa Cup of Nations. Well, the Africa Cup of Nations. Well, yeah, so then you'd have to look at it from... Uh, word go and subject it to proper research. So yeah. in, in 2019, mm. during the round of 16, yes. there was no VR, and we've seen 19 goals from that in the next graphic. We've seen 19 goals from 2019. There was no VR. The VR started from the quarterfinal, and that is averaging 2.37 um, goals per game. That mm. is um, two, approximately. And in 2021, there was VR in the quarterfinal from the start, and we've seen 12 goals. That is averaging 1.5 goals mm. in the round of 16. Then in 2023, throughout the tournament up to this point, we've seen VR, then we've seen 16. It means that for, without VR in 2019, we've seen 19 goals. With VR in 2021, we've seen 12. Same thing, 2023, we've seen um, 16. Mm. And the average from all of them is that we are seeing an average of two goals per game. And also, let's look at this. In terms of the biggest scoring games, in the round of 16 from the last three. We are seeing that in 2019, 
we seen that they score the number of goals in 2019 is high. We've seen five goals in one round of 16 game in 2019. That is Nigeria beating um, Cameroon 3-2 in their round of 16 game. Nigeria noted for goals, not defense. But here, they are proving that they can do the other way around. Mm. And in 2021, we are seeing three goals. The highest scoring games in 2021 are also three goals per game. The same thing for 2023. Mm. The highest scoring games in the round of 16 is also three goals per game. And that is... There's a very important question you've asked. And I, and I feel that, you know, for this and uh, proper impact analysis, we should have a few more Afghans because our sample size now is three Afghans. Three Afghans. Yes. And maybe that could just be minimal. But uh, immediately you can tell that yes. there has been a certain decline. decline. Mm. But there, I think the real numbers are going to be arrived at having looked at the number of goal interventions VAR. Yeah, yes, so, yes. That is it, what we are so, supposed to look at. Uh -huh. oh. So if there were, for example, goals that VAR flat or vetoed, or if there were attacking sequences that were stopped Supposed and flagged as offside yes. because mm. of VAR, mm. then you can talk about mm. what, how many goals it has taken away from Very well. Surely. We'll so so you can take us there? Yes, yeah. we'll do that mm. um, in the subsequent ones yeah. after mm. the mm. quarterfinal. Right. Then let's look at um, the last year of con in terms of penalty goals. Maybe this is the impact of VAR here. Mm. We are seeing in the last two rounds of 16 um, of 20, 2019 and 2021, we've not seen any penalty, uh, penalty goals there. And here we are seeing four goals in the round of 16. Maybe, just maybe, it's because of VR that we are seeing these many goals from uh, penalties. In terms of own goals, we have just one from each of the last three round of 16 from the last three Afghans. Edmond mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, I mean... One of the most bizarre own goals that I've ever seen. Yeah. And so there are